Welcome back guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can dual boot Ubuntu which is one of the most popular Linux distros. So visit visit this website ubuntu.com and from the download section you can download the latest version which is the 21 and when you click on it it will start downloading automatically. You can also use an external download manager for faster downloads. You can see it's downloading so we need the ISO file and then make a bootable USB so we need to visit this this website ventoy.net and from here you can download the program which we will use to make a bootable USB it's much easier than Rufus so just download the latest version from here and from here we need to download the zip version and this github page will show up and just download the from the asset section the zip file so it will be a dot zip in extension so we need to extract it using winrar or 7zip so the folder will show up so just open it and run this exe program that's inside it so it will show your usb make sure you use 8gb or above and now you need to check the storage partition scheme for for that we need to go to the search option of our windows and search for partition open this program called create and format hard disk partition here just right click on the disk 0 and in properties under the volume tab you can see your um, partition scheme so for me it's in GPT so from the settings option just set the partition style according to the uh, st storage partition and when you hit install it will format your USB and the bootable USB will be ready to use Now we just need to copy and paste the ISO file that we downloaded into the USB and from the BIOS menu we can just directly boot into it. So we do not have to separately make bootable for each OS. You can see I already have 4 OS inside of it. We need to just paste the Ubuntu one. It makes it very easy and uh, it's very similar to Rufus but you can have multiple OS inside it so from your BIOS menu we need to go to boot device options and here we need to select our USB and this Ventoy will show up and just select the Ubuntu from the list of OS's and the setup will begin just select the first option Ubuntu you will see the Ubuntu logo and the boot screen will start loading up it will take some time so now we have the installation window here so we're going to select install ubuntu you can also go ahead and try it for some time and install it later select your keyboard layout and you can also connect to wi-fi but i don't think we need it at this point Here uh, you can have multiple applications so minimal I will select minimal installation so it will only have some basic apps like web browser but you can also go for full installation normal one but for this I'm going to go for minimal and install applications later on and you can select this option to install a separate graphics or Wi-Fi drivers if you have some issues if you have experience issues on other OS you, need, you should check this box and then continue 
it will take some time to load up the installation now we need from here we need to select something else because we want to dual boot it with windows here it will show all the partition in your hard drive select the one you have made for this os so i have a 51 gb made which i already have another os on so we need to format it to use it otherwise it won't show to install so just click on change and just select from the drop down menu select the xt4 partition for system and the mount partition point should be forward slash so the first option just use that the first option and then ok and it will ask you for confirmation so continue it will take some time but it will be automatically selected just continue and the installation will begin uh, for before that uh, select your region and also a quick password and name and now the installation will begin so be patient it can take a lot of time so just leave it as it is and after some time you will see this option to restart so either it will restart normally into Ubuntu or you can also go back to windows so if does if it goes back to window make sure you go to your bios option and uh, from there i'll show you you will have this option in your boot device option so just select ubuntu from there and you can go back to ubuntu so now we are in the ubuntu os and we can start using it as a normal os It will ask you to help improve so you can share your diagnostic data. I'm going to decline. Some privacy confirmation and we are good to go. So right now in Ubuntu you can see the performance is really smooth. It has the app drawer but if the dock on the left side and it's very smooth operation very easy to use as well you can see the different wallpapers of hippopotamus i think it is its logo you have this dark theme light theme and the standard one the standard one has incorporated both dark and light most like most of the settings are really similar to other linux it's most popular because of the updates it gets frequent updates and the developers are always fixing fixing the issues you can see i have the intel uh, sixth generation and the integrated hd 520 graphics and 8 gb ram and even on my system it's running pretty fine You can over amplification for if you want to improve the sound. I'm using OBS and it's also recording the video pretty fine. The OBS for this is different from the other OS. Uh, from here you can check for your driver updates or software updates. It shows some updates you can choose to install it so I have installed the minimal one version and you can see there are not a lot of apps the file manager is very basic but it works very good this is the Firefox browser that comes default in many of the Linux distributions this is the quick toggle
this is the ubuntu software from here you can download like i have the vlc or other media players you have the different categories for media uh, music or other applications it's very limited so you can also use the terminal to install the apps different utility options for developers the terminal overall good and stable linux distro do give it a try and that was it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching